I'm KDA Assistant Executive Director Greg Hill, and you're watching the KDA Video Minute for Friday, February 7th. February is National Children's Dental Health Month. The Kansas Dental Association reminds parents that their children can avoid cavities. A balanced diet, limiting snacks, brushing and flossing each day, and regular dental checkups are the key to a lifetime of healthy teeth and gums. Well, Kevin is out of the office today. With everything going on between Dental Day, Children's Dental Health Month, the fluoride bill, and KMOM, I thought it was very important that I step out on this side of the camera today and do the KDA Video Minute. Now, for all you Kevin Robertson fans out there, I apologize, but he will be back next week for the KDA Video Minute. Despite the snow which blanketed much of Kansas on Tuesday, the fact that many dental practices were out of their office on Tuesday and Wednesday because of the snow, despite the, the treacherous roads as dentists uh, traveled to Topeka yesterday, we still had a great turnout uh, for Dental Day yesterday. So as we met in the morning, uh, talked about uh, legislative issues with our legislative, our lobbying and communications team, updating uh, those in attendance of the issues facing uh, dentists in Kansas, uh, what's going on at the Capitol, uh, the committees, and those kinds of things, and just a, kind of a lay of the land, so to speak, of what was going on in the State House. From there, we went across the street um, to the Capitol, to the newly uh, redone Capitol. And I will tell you, uh, for those who were not there, did not have the opportunity to, to visit the State House, it was my first trip to the State House yesterday, this year. What an absolutely beautiful building it was. So it was really a great opportunity. Uh, for our dentists uh, to see this beautiful building. I know that there were a couple of dentists who went up to the, to the top, actually went out uh, above the dome and, and uh, got to see um, the, the Capitol from, from that uh, perspective. So absolutely incredible, uh, incredible building. Uh, but we did get an opportunity to, to meet with our legislators uh, yesterday morning, uh, talked about uh, the fluoride bill, uh, which had been originally scheduled for a hearing on Wednesday. It had been postponed. We'll get to more about that here in a few minutes. Um, talk about the mid-level bill, the registered dental practitioner bill, about our concerns uh, with that. Um, and so a great opportunity to do that. From there, we came back across the street to the Hayden Building for lunch, uh, where legislators uh, came and, and had lunch, as we usually do, a different building. Uh, it was still a great turnout. We also had uh, Kansas Governor Sam Brownback, who came over and joined us as well. So it was a great opportunity to sit down with him over lunch and talk about issues facing dentists in Kansas. So we know it wasn't easy this year, maybe more challenging uh, than most for dentists uh, to make the trip up to Topeka, but the Board of Delegates, the officers, and, and we here at the KDA are very thankful for all of you who came up uh, and made Dental Day uh, part of your KDA uh, activities for this year. Of course, as I mentioned, the hearing on House Bill 2372, the, the fluoride bill, the bill that would uh, require that communities in Florida put a notice in their water bill that, that fluoride um, causes a, a reduction in IQ uh, among children, uh, had been scheduled for hearing on Wednesday. It now has been uh, rescheduled for February 19th. Now, as we get closer to that, uh, we'll put everything back into place in, in terms of our testimony and and uh, calling upon our, our, our members to contact their legislat legislators uh, about that bill and encourage them to, to vote no um, should it come out of hearing and those who are on the committee to, to vote no um, if there is a vote on that. Um, but we have, um, as you probably have seen, the vote no um, sticker uh, or logo that's been you've probably seen on our website and, and emails that we've sent out. Uh, we're going to do another push uh, with that as we get closer would encourage you to take those that information that we're putting out uh, on our website and social media to share that on your Facebook pages, your, uh, your Twitter followers, and really spread the message that Kansas dentists uh, do not support uh, House Bill 2372. So again, as we get closer to that, we'll put more information out about how you can and, and encourage you to share that information with your, with your, uh, on your Facebook page and, and with your followers uh, through social media. Of course, KMOM is, is just a few weeks away. There's still opportunity to register for that. Uh, we encourage you to join us in Dodge City uh, for our uh, annual uh, Kansas Mission Emergency Dental Project. Um, I will tell you that over the weekend, we're going to be uh, redoing our website on the foundation side, so look for that um, next week. I think it'll be a little bit easier for you to, to navigate and find the information uh, that you want. Uh, registration uh, is still up. You can still register for KMOM. And I, I know that uh, we are still looking for, for dentists 
uh, to volunteer for KMOM in Dodge City. Hotel information, all those kinds of things are available on our website. So I encourage you to come out and join us and help us make a difference in Dodge City. Of course, February is Children's Dental Health Month. It's something that the Kansas Dental Association has participated in for a number of years. Now, what we have always done is uh, had a coloring contest for third graders. Uh, the winner of those contests in each district would then receive a, a gift card. The idea was that they would go out and, and purchase a bike with that. We haven't had a, a great deal of success over the years. The participation uh, rate in that has gone down. And so we are looking to encourage uh, teachers to get more involved in Children's Dental Health Month, to incorporate the Children's Dental Health Month curriculum or health curriculum into their uh, teaching during the month of February. So we're, gonna, we're still going to have a third grade coloring competition, um, but the, the, the winning teacher or the, the, the teacher of the winning student will also get a gift card as an encouragement, as an incentive, and as a reward uh, for their student um, who wins that uh, competition among the districts. We're also doing a statewide competition uh, in which uh, classrooms can develop their own oral health education projects. Maybe it's going to be a video, maybe it's a poster, some kind of a graphic that encourages uh, Children's Dental Health Month and, and shows the importance of uh, good oral health, particularly for kids. Um, those will be judged here at the Kansas Dental Association. The teacher of that uh, classroom will receive a $500 gift card uh, as, a, as a reward for that uh, competition. So we encourage you to not only uh, share the importance of Children's Dental Health Month with your patients. We have PSAs. We have Ed other educational materials on our website. We encourage you to share those uh, with your patients uh, through social media or print them off and hand them uh, out to your patients there in your practice. And also, if you do have third graders, ask them if they are uh, participating in uh, Children's Dental Health Month at their school. So that's what we have this week for the KDA Video Minutes. Uh, Kevin Robertson will be back next week uh, to update you on what's going on here at the Kansas Dental Association and downtown at the state capitol. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later.